That was right in my face. <laughs> Welcome back to Lake Lot Build. I'm John. Got my partner behind the camera, and today we are going to be working on our spiral staircase. Finally. So, come join us. Here we go. So, what we did was we laid out the landing plus the rain gutter. The rain gutter is six inches, and then our landing goes to here. So, then we, after that, we took the dimensions, which is a five foot diameter laid out what five feet found the center so that it fits in this area right here did our crisscross applesauce right there <laughs> put that on there <clears throat> and then we use the same anchors as we did for our railing these are the hilti fasteners they are phenomenal 4,000 psi we learned at exactly, least exactly <laughs> at least 4,000 psi um so i was trying to use other anchors and they just don't compare to these and so i strongly recommend i'm not sponsored by hilti by any means but they are the best and they worked so well and it's so solid so now after we get that plate <clears throat> this is our first pole and so what you'll see is that each tread has the collar and it'll slide down so we'll stack them one this way one that way so as not to pull it one way or the other way. So right now, John is just doing the set screws to make sure that the first pole is securely fastened to the base plate. Wow, that got stiff fast, didn't it? Excellent. Okay, that's what we want. Let's go get us some. Uh, let's go get us some treads, and we'll start stacking up. So. Every job site needs a layout area. Yeah, it does. Our poor and neighbors, they have been so patient with us. I know it. And it's so <laughs> hot already, and it's so early, and it's so hot. So yeah. This is the landing I was telling you about. And so that's where that pipe is there. And then we have, what was that, 31 inches on the dot to there? Yep, 31 inches. Plus another 6 inches gets us to the edge of the house. So our plate will actually be like 18 inches. So that it comes so you have a nice smooth transition so you don't have the trip hazard so it'll come in like this yep. and then over and then it'll have the the kick down like that the right angle and then our gutter will be underneath here and john's talking about we're actually going to have to have a plate made yes. um because <laughs> we weren't quite sure how everything went together and uh we were hoping the platform could lay up on top of the roof but actually it's going to have to affix to the side yeah. so we're going to have to custom make a steel plate so that we can have it the way we want it so how many we've done one two three four five six seven eight nine so now i'm going to put the collar in here and see if i can keep from cross threading it there we go i will uh, let our viewers know that these did not just slide on there perfectly they needed a little uh, motivation with yeah. the uh, sledge sledgehammer and board perfect all right so the threads bottom out i think so now we're going to put the next column on and then we'll put those on of course now we're going to need the ladder um but on upward we go so. hi everyone it is day two of working on the spiral staircase so beautiful morning out gonna get hot today gonna get hot so we've set up the scaffolding as you can see we have all of the treads on the center pole and we're gonna be adding uh, one more or two more of the center poles <laughs> there's my partner this morning and we're gonna be working on getting the platform set on the roof Crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy. Well, as you can see behind me, we have our landing on. What do you think, sweetheart? It was hard work. <laughs> was it hard work? It's really heavy. <laughs> but we did it first shot. We were like, just go, 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 and our arms burned and got it done. So, let's go over here and take a peek. So I have it sitting up there right now. Leslie put the set screws in there just so that it won't slide down and bind on that pipe. We've got the platform set. 
I can tell you, any of you that are going to build one of these Paragon stairs, spiral staircases, you know, if you're going into a wood deck, something like that, it's going to be great. It's going to go right in. You're not going to have to do what we did. Um, but that said, you know, building this little platform, I think it cost us $75 at uh, DeVille still. If you're local, they're a great company. Highly, highly recommend. Um, and they just cut us a custom piece of metal and drilled some holes in there for us. So we're ready to uh, set the holes into the concrete on the roof and continue building this staircase. This is why we're doing it. All of this. This is why we're doing it. All right, kiddos. We have now plumbed our pole and then this direction towards the lake and towards the house and then per and then parallel with the house. So we are this is now straight up. Then what we did was to make sure that this platform in this orientation and this one is square with the house as it comes out. Now, th this is the plate that we had made, and so it has the right angle here, and it's bolted together here. It goes over our rain gutter, and then the next thing we'll do is we have the anchor points, which are one, two, and three, and we're going to use the same exact hilti screw that we did for all of our railings. And then what we'll, once that is done and we start building our treads, we'll cut the posts here and here and we'll add our last two pieces. Let's get started with the old hammer drill. And then what I use is our little can of air and I will squirt, push that down in there and blow the air out. It works really, really well. And then what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of caulking in the hole so when I run that screw down there, the caulking will end up at the top of this to seal that so that we don't have any water. If it migrates under this plate, this plate has been primered with that nice chemical primer and then uh, painted even on the underneath side so that we, it doesn't get any rust underneath the, um, on the underneath side of it. So let's start. I was right in my face. <laughs> and just like that, that one's done with. Look at that. Just with one of them in there. Good. That'll help stabilize that whole pole. Oh my gosh. Especially when you have, you take that 31 inches that it's wide and ink even just the corners to keep it from doing this yep. or that or any of it but then adding one more just for extra stability well we've been working what maybe another hour or so john i don't even think it's been that much it I may not maybe, have been uh, maybe 30 minutes and we've set what is that three four stairs yeah we've already done four yeah so this honestly guys goes together pretty quickly it is a little cumbersome figuring out the first stair as always right the first in a set is complicated but once we got through that then we just kind of breeze through okay we're about ready to move the scaffolding here because we've come down lower but let's show you how this goes together so the first one is right there and that one is you have to drill and tap it because you don't know if it fits on this side or maybe it fits over on this side, depending if this is a left-hand swing or right-hand swing. But after that one, these literally bolt in here and you have that much play for how much riser you have. So I think it's uh, between eight and nine. We're at eight and a half. I think that's what it is. I'll go underneath. You can simply see how the bolts are. And then each one of them over here, go under, give me a second, has the set screws here. So you just measure down, right? So for us, it's there to there is eight and a half, there to there is eight and a half. So I just make my mark, swinging around there, 
drop our pole in, put our bolts in. Leslie will then check to make sure that it's running plumb. Then we lock it in and do it all over again. Once you do the first one and then the second one, and you're like, oh, that's how it goes together. Then it was like one, two, three within like seven, eight minutes. So now we've got to move the scaffold, the scaffolding out of the way because we're going to start our continue our rotation and we'll see where we end on our spiral when we get to the bottom. <laughs> the maiden voyage. <laughs> Leslie! Are you kidding me? Well, you can see the progress that we have made. We have set each one of these at the eight and a half. Inches. Eight and a half inches for each one. And Sorry for my metric friends, you'll have to convert. What was nice is that we got here to the bottom and we were eighth inch, quarter inch difference, but it slopes, so it depends on where you take your mark. We were dead on all the way. And uh, so, as you can see the footprints, we might have climbed up there to, just to take a peek. We did. We made <laughs> sure it worked. So, each one of these, of course, is hooked here, and then it's also hooked here, hooked here, and this goes in. Now, right now, you can tell, see, it's, it's still a little bit wobbly, and that's what the railing, when the railing goes on, and we hook the railing together, then it keeps it from rotating forward and backwards, and that's where you get the rigidity. And then there are two more balusters that go in right here. And those, each one of those have to get cut. So we have to put this on. And then the ones that get cut, we measure, we'll put it up next to it, and then we cut the end. And then there's a special little screw that goes on the bottom, the nut that goes on the bottom of that, and then you screw it in from the bottom. But right now, we are going to work on the railing. So let's go inside so what we're going to do is slowly you can think about a spring we're just going to slowly try to unwind the spring but not put any kinks in this because once this gets kinked you can't unkink it don't unkink it so we are going to use pieces on the end of it and you can kind of see if we kind of rotate this it wants to get bigger and so we are going to figure out, probably going to have to do it this way on the floor and slowly start to push this thing out. Well, we got it to our 75 inch diameter and now we will uh, check the instructions. It shows that we pull it apart using a helper, which is me. Oh, good. We uh, pull it apart and then start working it so up. We're going to pull it up like that. Yeah. Well, that makes more sense. Yeah. So it actually would be like that, it'd be that rotation. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to have to scoot back actually for you. So there is our coil. Here is the coil, the handrail. We watched a hilarious video on HGTV with a couple doing just what we're doing. Totally screwed it up, and now we know why. This is this is an interesting, delicate procedure. Yeah, <laughs> should be done with care. <laughs> okay, so now we have to get this guy corkscrewed up on to that. So here we go. The handrail is on. Not gonna lie, we had our moments of struggle. It definitely takes two people to put this on. You start at the top, attaching it with the self-tapping metal screws and just work your way down. All right, so we've gotta cut off the excess of the handrail. Where you wanna go, about right here? Yeah, I think they said three inches. That's more than, I yeah, that's to plenty. Get it, catch it with your hip. No, I'm the same way. Alright, so I'm let's the same go right way. here. Here's a little hack for you. Put your tape on there. When you come around, if your tape matches up, that means you're almost, you're probably dead on. Perpendicular. Ooh, I was close. 
turn just a little bit. There. See how my tape lined up perfect. all the way around? I don't think it has any wobble, but it should be perfect. So now what you do is you take your Sharpie and you mark the tape like this. Works really well on aluminum because you have a different color. If it was black like that, of course you use your soapstone pen. And this way you can follow it with your grind with your cutting tool. You don't want to leave the tape on there because it's going to get real hot. It'll melt the tape. Ah, yeah. look at you. Ta-da. Ta All right, well yeah. done. Thank you. Let's cut that baby off. Okay, so now we have one. Well, this is called the burrs, right? So you got to we'll clean that up. Maybe put a little sandpaper on it. So it, the reason I'm taking such so much time is there's a cap, and your hand's going to go on there. So if it's rough or out, you're going to one see it too. It might scratch your hand. So now we'll go back and we'll file all this off and get this cleaned up because there's a little cap over here that goes on it. Now we're going to go over how do you put these ballast in that hook in right here. So we start with them and they're going to be long, right? They're the same length as those. So what we'll do is come over here, grab my little pencil. I'm going to eyeball these to make sure that they match up. When we were putting this in, this might have gotten twisted a little bit, but once they're all next to each other, then they look, have the appearance of being parallel. I haven't put a, uh, a level on to make sure that they are, but they look pretty dang good. I'm going to mark it where this hole is right here. That looks good. I'm going to line it up on my hole, and then I'm going to mark it. You see my mark right here? That one right there. That was the first one. Now I'm going to do the second one, which is the longer one. <coughs> okay. John, so, what kind of saw is this? This is a, I, this is called a chop saw. So it's a metal chop saw. Okay. It's the same one that we used in all the railing and everything. You can set angles on it. We're doing a 90 degree cut. 14 inch blade, metal saw, or metal blade for it. Here we go. Here's my little trick. Gonna just a little gas. You get all the burrs off of it. There we go. Because remember, we have that deal that goes on the end of it, so we got to clean that up. I know. I'm sure somebody will be like, "You can't do that." And I was like, "I just did it." <laughs> Most of the comments we get are great. We do get a lot of comments about, "Oh, you did this wrong." So yeah. we're used to it now. If we did it wrong, let us. You'll let us know. Oh yeah. Okay, so now we cut it, and now I'm going to make sure. Boy, that looks really good. So now, we need to put an end on this, right? So what is it? It's this little guy right here. I don't know if you could see it. It's but called it, a tube connector in the instructions. So it goes in just like that, right? So we need to push that in there. But 
if you hammer that, it's going to make these things get flattened out. So what I do is I'll put the screw on this guy and thread this screw down in there. So I put that screw in there so when I hit it with the hammer, now this is what this is where it's very important that it goes straight in. It doesn't get cockeyed like that because we don't make sure that this guy gets threaded in there. So <clears throat> let's see how we do. Come take a look at that. Awesome. So then what I do is I'll take this, then you take the screw out here. And now, this will get set up here like this. Put the screw in. That goes like that. I'll get it up snug, not quite tight, snug, like that. We'll get it in here, find the angle. Just like that. Looks good. That's how it is. Come back. final tighten on this guy using an allen wrench yeah just regular whatever the allen whatever the sizes, that one that yeah. matches that's how you do one and you just repeat it over and over and over and over and over and over and over till we get to the top now i will tell you all that the instructions told us to put the connector on the stair with the nut and then slide the pole on it's never in a million years gonna work. We nope. thought about it, we tried it, we worked at it for about 30 minutes, not gonna work. So John just started putting them at the end of the pipe. They work great. So looked on the YouTubes for it, looked in the instructions for it, figured it out on our own, little DIY. Sometimes that's what you have to do. Honey bunny, where are we at now on this thing? We're done, it's all done. We got the caps put on the aluminum railing. All the balusters are in. It's all secure. The railing is done at the top. This is a serious DIY project. I would say four out of five, five being most DIYers would struggle. Um, it was it was a bit of a struggle, wasn't it, John? It was ridiculous. <laughs> that said, you can do this in a weekend. I mean, you really can, but you gotta know what you're doing. You have to know when to go off script and recognize that the instructions are actually not gonna help you. Which pains me because you guys know I love instructions. But the set, we had to go off script a little bit. for this episode of Lake Lot Build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't be afraid to build your own spiral staircase. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe be afraid. <laughs> it's time for me to go take a shower and shave my face. Yes. We were hot and sticky and dirty. So thank you guys for watching and tune in for our next episode. See you next time.